go to the land of Virgo. A foreboding land, only for the purest <laughs> and for virgins. And those who or those who admire virgins. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in this place right now where we're in that kind of cabin fever of the fourth house and we're dealing with fixed assets our house if we have a car or a vehicle or you know maybe you just need a new dryer or your dryer needs to be fixed or something <laughs> and um, so you've got that on your plate and you're um, yeah you're just concerned about your family's needs you know your, your, the needs of your tribe but things are kind of good in a way it's a lot of action in your fifth house and so You've got all this creative juice and this creative mojo. Like, I mean, to be honest with you, Virgo, I haven't seen you like this in years. Like, you're just doing it. You're like, eh, what the heck? I'm going to be creative. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to criticize the, the, the shit out of my own work because, you know what? There'll be no work if I just keep doing that. So we just keep working and keep making it happen and keep being in my heart, keep beating with it, keep creating. That is the key. And you will roar like lioness and lion as your sidereal sign for most of you is, and you're, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay. All right.